What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be putting a sound system into the truck. to clarify that I don't really know that much about sound systems. Now it's not just simply plug in some wires and go. It can be and that's what I used to do in the past but the more I learn about it the more I figure out that that's not at all the case and there's a lot more to it. So I've been trying to take this build pretty serious and I've been doing a lot of research on sound systems and what makes them sound good and what makes them better and yada yada and so forth. Now in the past all my other trucks have had a sound system but all I've done is thrown a sub in there I've used like a $60 Bluetooth head unit and some new speakers and I wired it all up like that and I thought it was good and you know it was pretty good. I'm not going to say it wasn't bad uh, but now after doing research I, I'm starting to see that there is a big difference with an amp. Uh, so I've had a couple of amps that I've collected over the years that I bought used for pretty cheap and whatnot and I've always thought you know I'll put them into one of my project cars but I seem to always forget about a sound system. So let's start off with the head unit. So I'm going to be running an Alpine CDE-172BT. Uh, this is a fairly cheap one uh, and it is Bluetooth and that's kind of all I really cared about was a Bluetooth head unit. Now as for my amp, I'm going to be running an Oxford Fosgate R600-5. Pretty old. They have a lot newer ones nowadays but since I've had this for a couple years now, I figured I'd run it and it works just fine. And for my subs, I'm going to be running two of these Ros Roxford Fosgate R1s, 12 inch, uh, with a custom box. And then shout out to Adrian, he hooked me up with these 6x9s. He also hooked me up with these little 4 inch rounds. On top of all of this, I'm also going to be running some 6 inch rounds that I don't have. I need to go buy them. And the reason I'm going to be running the 6 inch rounds is because my truck, when I got it, Someone in the past had made these custom cutouts in the door. Now, uh, 720s, they don't have any speakers on the door. They have the speakers on the kick panel over here on the cab. Uh, so someone had cut the back of the door a little bit to make some clearance. And they ended up making this and stretching the vinyl out of the door. So it's just going to look off if I don't put a speaker in there. Plus, um, I would have wanted to do something like this, just not as nice. Because this is actually pretty nice the way they did it. Uh, so... I need to go buy some and I'll go buy some later today, but I'll run all the wires and then uh, we can just throw those on, wire them up and they should be good. If you guys didn't watch the last video, put sound deadening on the whole entire cab of the truck, on the floor, on the back, on the doors, on the inside of the doors you can see, you can see over here. So this thing should sound a lot better. You can see where they cut the door previously to fit the speaker in there. I want to get the sound system done, that way I could run all my wires. I should be getting my carpet in probably tomorrow. So. That way, once I get the sound system done and I throw it all in here, then I can uh, run all the wires, make sure that they don't get caught on anything, and then throw my carpet, and then everything should be nice and ready to go. Since these trucks, at least the base model, and I'm pretty sure the Deluxe don't have any wires uh, for speakers since they didn't come with speakers, you have to run your speakers. So right here, I just have this one tucked. I have a random, just a wire that I ran right here. It goes up through here, and then across the back of the glove box which then goes back over and into the center same thing with the door there's a hole right here now I had to uh, run it in I just have it dangling here it goes back up through here up through here and they all run together now you got to do the same thing on the other side and then for your power Every truck has this uh, plug right here. It's just tucked underneath the dash. Now, I believe this is for the factory head unit, uh, for the ones who do come since they share the same harness. So on your head unit, you're going to have a black wire, which is your ground, a yellow wire, which I believe is your uh, constant 12 volt. And then you're going to have a red wire, which I believe is your switched 12 volt. If you put these aside, these all have a matching one. So you have two greens, two purples, two blues, Technically, the blues are for something else, but I'll mention that right now. Two grays and then two whites. So then you're left with these. This, I believe, is a dimmer switch. So put that aside, your orange one. And on most head units, it's always the same exact colors. 
so it's not like it should be different or anything like that. We have a blue wire, which is our remote, which sends 12 volts from the head unit to the amp. So uh, if you're not running an amp, you don't need to use that one. Um, but if you are, then that is what triggers and turns on the amp. Right here, you can see I have the red with the brown, the black with the black and blue, and the yellow with the green and red. But now, all I gotta do is plug in this to my head unit, and uh, we should have power. Now we won't have any sound coming out because I need to wire up these. So these, uh, the ones that match, like the two greens, the two purples, and the two whites, and the two grays, are for your normal speakers. So I believe it's front, right, uh, front, left, rear, right, rear, left. But since I'm running a sub, I'm gonna wire it with my RCA cables over here. So this is gonna go to the back. I guess I can show you guys. It's gonna go into there, and then that is going to go into my amp. And then I have my wire for the signal, which is going to tap into this white and blue one on mine. And then these wires, the front and rear, and all those I'm gonna to run to my front speakers. So it's gonna be my front right, my rear right, uh, left front, and uh, left rear. And then my subs and my six by nines in the back are gonna be ran by the RCA cables with the amp mounted back here. There we go, I got it all wired up and I got it all nice and zip tied so it's not a huge mess. Um, the mic, since mine does have a mic for talking on the phone and such, I have it right here. So the wire just runs underneath this little bezel up and over the cluster and down through the side over here, which the plug is right here. Um, and these wires, they go underneath. You can see them, I'm still hanging them right here. I'm gonna try to tuck them as much as I can. And then they're just gonna run down across the side. Now I am gonna run the speaker wires on one side and the power wire on the other side. This is the power wire right here. I have a inline fuse, which is close to the battery. I wanna say maybe like eight inches from the battery. I ended up picking up some Pioneer six and a half, 300 watt speakers. So these are going to go on the door right there. So right here, I have the speakers. I'm gonna take the cover off just so. Here they are. Now I'm not too sure how the previous owner had these on there. Since this isn't really a good design, since all it has to hold on is this black plastic that they put in there. So I guess it, it will hold on to that, but then there's nothing to black plastic gets held to the actual door card so it's kind of weird uh, I think the looks of it it just had a speaker in there and all the weight was on this black plastic which is just held in by the vinyl for the door card so I guess we'll just have to see what happens I got the speakers on there they're all ready to go you can see it actually looks very nice and then over here on the harness side I already spliced in the plugs that way it's just a plug-and-play and it's nice and ready to go. So now I just gotta plug this in and put the door cord back on. I know it might be a little hard to pick up since it's super windy out, but no, I'm pretty content with it. I know the camera isn't probably gonna pick up the volume and the tone of everything as well as a wooden person but I hope that the little video I took will give you guys kind of a rough idea of what it sounds like and how loud and clear it is uh, like I said I still need some adjustments but I'm pretty happy with how it is now if you guys want to hear it the only real way you could hear it would be in person possibly if you ever catch me at a meet you can tell me you know if you want to listen to it I'll turn it on but it's nothing special it's super uh, budget, in my opinion, it's budget because I've had a lot of this stuff. Plus, my homie Adrian actually hooked me up with the 6x9s and the 4-inch rounds. So, that's probably like half the system right there. So, shout out to him for hooking me up. I had some stuff, so it all kind of worked out on a budget. The only thing I bought new was the 6.5-inch right here on the door, which I think were about 50 bucks. Now, I can adjust my bass on my amp 
a little bit. Uh, that way I can control it to kind of what I want. But uh, I think for right now, it's honestly super good for what it is. Now, I can turn it up, but it starts to get too loud to the point where all you hear is bass. I think that's about going to complete this video. If you guys have any tips for me or anyone watching this video, I would recommend that you guys put it down in the comment section below. That way we can all gain some knowledge off of this whole sound system deal. Hopefully you learned something and maybe enjoyed this video. Uh, on the next video, we are going to be doing the carpet kit on the 720, so I'll show you guys where I got it. I'll give you guys the link and all that good stuff. That way you guys can throw fresh carpet into your 720. Uh, but I just wanted to get the sound system over with, so that way I could run all the wires underneath the carpet, and then once I get the sound system, I can just put my carpet back on top, and we should be good. Well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.